So on Gigabit 103, we want to automatically add the MAC address to the running configuration so that we limit specific MAC addresses on that port. So to do that, on interface Gigabit 103, we're going to type switch port mode access. Has to be an access port. Switch port, port security, MAC address, sticky. That allows the switch to automatically learn the MAC address of a PC and write it to the running configuration. Switch port, port security. Show port security. Notice on this port, maximum MAC addresses allowed is one. Nothing's been learnt at the moment. There's been no violations. Show run. On this port, we've got our configuration, but we don't see any MAC addresses in the running configuration. Show port security, gigabit 103. Interface gigabit 103, rather. We've enabled port security. Status is secure up. Violation mode is shut down. Maximum number of MAC addresses allowed is one. At the moment, we haven't learnt any MAC addresses. So on PC3, what I'll do is use ipconfig slash renew to force the PC to request an IP address. It's been given one. So show port security interface gigabit 103. Notice we've now learnt a MAC address on that interface. Total number of MAC addresses is one. Sticky MAC addresses is one. So notice the difference. Show run shows us the MAC address in the running configuration of the switch. We didn't type that command. It was automatically added to the running configuration. So again, show port security shows us that one MAC address has been learnt. Maximum is one on this port. On that interface, we've learnt this MAC address which means it's written to the running configuration. Total MAC addresses is one. Maximum MAC addresses is one. A violation results in the port being shut down. If we look at addresses, we've learnt this MAC address in VLAN 1 on this port. It's a secure sticky MAC address, which means, again, that it's written to the running configuration. So what happens when the second host sends traffic? So PC4 ipconfig slash renew. On the switch, notice we get a violation. The port is shut down. So show port security address. This address is allowed on this port, but we learnt about a different address on that port. So show port security interface gigabit 103 shows us the last MAC address learnt. Violation mode is shut down, so the port has now been shut down. Previously, the violation mode was shut down, but the port was up. But because of that violation took place, the port is now shut down, and in Packet Tracer we can see that the port is shut down. So what happens if we reboot the switch? If I save the config at this point, this will be written to the saved configuration of the switch. But if I save the config before that point, that configuration is not written to the saved configuration of the switch, which means that a different MAC address could be learnt. I'll no shut the port again and save the configuration. So at the moment, and I need to shut and then no shut actually. So interface gigabit 103, shut, and then no shut the port to bring it up and save the configuration. So again, assume at this point that the switch hasn't learnt a MAC address. That's the running configuration. Show port security. At the moment, the switch has not learnt a MAC address on this port. Send traffic from PC3. 
switch has now learnt about a MAC address on that port. It's learnt about this MAC address. So in other words, in the running configuration and in the MAC address table, the switch knows about this MAC address. There's the MAC address in the MAC address table. There's the MAC address in the running configuration. But in the startup configuration, we don't have that MAC address. So if the switch is now power cycled, what you'll notice is that the switch can learn a different MAC address on that port. So again, show MAC address table. No MAC addresses are learnt at the moment. Show run. That sticky MAC address has been lost. So if this PC was the first PC to send out a DHCP request, that's the MAC address that would be learnt on gigabit 103 of the switch. And notice that's what's happened here. This MAC address was written to the running config, whereas previously we had the MAC address of PC3. Notice that port has gone down now. Show port security. We've had a violation take place on that port, and the device that violated was PC3. So what's the point of using sticky MAC addresses? What does it do and what doesn't it do? Well, sticky MAC addresses save you the trouble of finding the MAC addresses of devices and writing that to the running configuration. On the last port, we're going to have to manually configure the MAC addresses. So that means that you need to find out what the MAC addresses are of your devices. Sticky saves you that trouble because it automatically learns the MAC address and then writes it to the running configuration. But that means that the first device that sends traffic into the network needs to be the device that you trust. In other words, it needs to be the device that you want connected to that port. If another device sends traffic, that device's MAC address will be written to the running configuration and not the MAC address of the device that you actually want on that port. Secondly, sticky configuration is written to the running config of the switch. You have to save the switch configuration if you want to make that permanent. So again, on this port, interface gigabit 103, let's remove this command. And I'll shut the port down and then no shut it. So at the moment, no MAC address has been learnt on that port. I'll send a DHCP request from PC3. Hopefully what should happen now is PC3's MAC address should be written to the running config of the switch. Have to wait for spanning tree to converge. So let's try that again. But there you go. PC3's MAC address has been written to the running config. I'm going to save the config at this point. So now we've been able to learn the MAC address of PC3 and save it to the running config of the switch. And I've been able to save it to the startup config of the switch. So it's both in the startup configuration, as you can see there, as well as the running configuration. But notice the problem. This port is now being shut down because PC4 sent traffic. So notice the difference between startup and running config. Show startup config shows us that configuration with the port enabled. Show running config shows us that configuration with the port shut down. So if I reloaded or rebooted the switch or it lost power and came back again, it will revert back to the state that we want it to be in which essentially means that it only allows traffic on gigabit 103 from this MAC address. That's different to gigabit 101,
where any MAC address could send traffic as long as it was the first MAC address to send traffic. So sticky MAC addresses make your life a lot easier. Let's configure port security on Gigabit 104 by manually configuring the MAC address. Ha ha ha.